Welcome back. It's my second episode of my iconography Warhammer 40k sessions. Now I'm going to talk of one of my favorite races in 40k and uh, the one that I like playing the most because I am a tabletop collector. The Necrons. Yippee, the Necrons. I have the distinct feeling that these guys were conceived around 1984. You know what movie came out in 1984? Yeah, Terminator. And when people looked at Terminator, they thought, oh wow, that's cool, that's actually awesome. I, uh, I wouldn't like to find that guy in the street. And in the dark alley and uh, one of the games workshop guys I bet he said oh you know that looked really cool how we're, we're gonna make uh, um, a race and we're gonna make them uh, like you know robots that come you know, for the future that are ancient and they pack uh, ginormous guns and they destroy everything and, th and then they decided to give them a twist from the Terminator because obviously it's different but you know the inspiration comes from there what are the characteristics of the Necrons first they are metallic soulless beings coming from eons ago destroyed half the galaxy and then the, and then uh, s um, kept in slumber they worship savage gods and they have monoliths that appear here and there and destroy every living thing in sight now i think that um the first cultural inspiration can be found in mesoamerican cultures such as aztecs such as mayans and toltecs why first of all look at the pyramid yeah look at this and then look at a monolith they are very similar also some illustrations are from the necron codex and the people that have it would absolutely know what they how they look like look remarkably like mesoamerican pyramids now another thing is the fact that they worship savage gods they sacrifice souls to these gods for them to feast upon. It's a characteristic of the Aztec and Mayan cultures. They sacrificed hundreds, uh, nearly 5,000 people a year to, in their words, satiate the gods of the sun, uh, which had to be, let's say, fed with human blood in order to... Um, um, uh, in order to keep the sun spinning around the earth you know things like this there was the uh, Mayan god uh, Venus uh, who required uh, his um, uh, the uh, enemies uh, captured in battle to be slain sometimes via grotesque uh, tortures such as you know ripping fingernails crushing people under huge rocks there is also something that uh, makes them look a lot like mummies and skeletons they have a skeletal structure and they look I don't know they look Egyptian for some weird reason um, Egypt uh, in uh, Warhammer 40k can be found in the rubric Marines of uh, the um, thousand sons however you cannot say that Egyptian influence is uh, let's say to completely uh exclude there's also there's also something that's really interesting as the mayans uh were they were great astronomers and they quote unquote they predicted the end of the uh, of the world i don't believe in it but you know let's see these guys the necrons uh looked at the sky envious of the ancients they died because of a huge star and they will be the end of the galaxy according to lore according to lore means according to the inquisitors and according to elder prophets or farseers and harlequins thus you know it's pretty certain you know i believe there are some things that I really like about the Necrons that I can't really get uh, to um, form a parallelism with with uh, something, you know, with uh, anything. 
there's also something interesting about this it's uh you know the scarab swarms and the spider uh, tomb spiders they obviously come from egypt they are symbologically semiolo semiographically they appertain to ancient egypt the scarab and not the spider but it, they look like scarabs not like spiders the scarab is an important symbol and was usually a trinket or a medal or a necklace you know i believe that this is the true inspiration from what uh, the necrons come from it it just makes them look so great the new terminator which means the recent and the very ancient we're talking you know we're talking five thousand years ago here people it's uh i believe the this is one of the most interesting and mysterious overlooked and underutilized races i i, I know why because they look boring and they're boring uh, to play with sometimes but you know i really love them as as um, figuratively let's say okay hope you've enjoyed if you like to contribute please uh you know mm, blow blow up everything inside the comment box below i want a chock full of comments discussing everything you know having fun with people and uh this that's it hope you enjoyed